Brace yourself, my friends. Coach Greatness here. What's going on, Reach One Nation? Today, I want to talk to you about the R in the brace. B-R-A-C-E. The R stands for reach for your wildest dreams. What are your dreams? What do you want to do with your life? I don't care if you're watching this in fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, 10th grade, 12th grade, does not matter. I'm here to encourage you to tell you that you can make your dreams a reality, but you have to reach for your dreams. And you know how do you reach you know how to reach for your dreams now while you're in school? You reach for your dreams through your education. Every single assignment that you complete, I need you to look at that as you've reached for your dreams today. Every time you write a sentence on a piece of paper, you're reaching for your dreams through your education. Every time you learn a vocabulary word, you are reaching for your dreams through your education. Reach for your wildest dreams through your education. But as you're reaching for your dreams through your education, I want your imagination going. What do I want to be? You can do anything you want to do. I'm just going to give you a couple steps in making your dreams a reality. Number one, you got to picture it in your mind. Every building, every car, every piece of clothing that you wear, every song that you sing, it started off in the mind of a human being. Someone pictured it first. Okay, Kevin, what do I do? I pictured it. I know what I want to be, a firefighter, a veterinarian, a baseball player, a football player, and a, a teacher, a judge, a doctor. I pictured it. What do I, what do, I do next? Number two, you take that picture and you write it down on a piece of paper. Or you can type it on a computer. I'd rather you write it down because every car that you've ever driven in or you've ever seen, it went from somebody picturing it to someone designing it. You also have to design your dream. You've got to write it down. I wrote down for years, I will become an international motivational speaker. I'm living that dream as I make this video right now. But you have to write it down. There's power in writing it down. Number three, number three. Number three is you got to speak it out of your mouth. You got to talk about it to everybody that you know, everybody that will listen. I told my friends, I told my family, I'm going to be a speaker, man. I'm going to travel around the country. I'm going to speak to middle schools, high schools, colleges, corporations, professional sports teams, college sports teams. I'm living the dream today because I talked about it. I spoke it out. You got to picture it. You got to write it. You got to speak it. Then you got to study it. Whatever it is you want to do, you've got to study it. Do you realize that you can Google anything and learn how to do anything? You got to study it. Once you study it, you got to get around it. Get around the people who are doing it, watching and learning from other people and how they got there. Every time you picture it, every time you, you write it or speak it or study it or get around it, you are getting closer. Those are all signs of reaching for your dreams. And the last piece is you've got to make it happen. If it is to do, it's up to you. If it is to be, it's up to me. While you're in school, you're reaching for your dreams through your education. But as you're getting your education, picture yourself doing what you want to do. Write it down. Speak it. Study it. Get around the people who are doing it. And if you're doing all that, friends, day after day after day, you really are making it happen. Reach for your dreams through your education. Have a great day. Brace yourself. Brace. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.